Hello everyone, my name is Harmony aka Lapcat Creations and welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a bit since I've made a video so excuse the shaky camera work. I've uh, grown used to the platform of TikTok but I'm gonna do my best. All right, so the original plan with this was to show you guys the process of me finishing this oil painting, but you will see what happened uh, later on in the video. But for now, here's my oil paints and I've got my little jar with a spring in it. I love that thing. You'll see that uh, how I use it later. And my paintbrush is in a little recycle bin thing because I make the joke that I'm trash. Um, here is me blinking and looking at the camera and back at the canvas because I don't really know what to do and I'm starting to get tired. Uh, yeah. Here's a close-up of one of the eyes that I have finished. A really cool thing about oil painting that I've come to enjoy is how easily things blend together. At first it was a little bit of kind of like a culture shock because I was so used to acrylic and like watercolors, but these just kind of, ah, uh, it's, I have no way to explain it. It's just so smooth. It's so smooth and it's so nice. Here's a little speed paint of me uh, painting an eyeball. You know, you know, you know how it is. But yeah, um, I'm gonna start talking again in a minute. So the voiceover is almost done. Uh, Philip's on my lap. He's a big old chunky boy. And yeah, there's an eyeball. Okay, since I am um, showing more of my real life now on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm just gonna go on ahead and tell you guys when I have symptoms and stuff and not try to cram a video all into one day. So I got some of the eyes, as you can see in the background, I got some of them done, but my skin is starting to hurt. That's a symptom of fibromyalgia. So I'm going to wash my brushes and then probably go lay down and play some Minecraft or play my game a little bit and probably doze off because this really hurts and this happens a lot. It's very frustrating. I can have like a whole bunch of energy while I'm doing something and then out of nowhere it just hits you like a wall. Chronic fatigue sucks. But I'm going to show you how I clean my brushes. So yeah. Okay, so what I have here is a jar with a spring inside that is filled with vegetable oil. I don't like using paint thinner because I already have asthma and I just don't want to use anything that's toxic. So with the vegetable oil, since it's oil-based paint, it kind of dissolves the paint off of the brush. It takes a little while longer, but not much. And then you just kind of dab it clean, do it again, try to work all of the paint out of there. And then once no more paint is coming off, I just put it back into the thing. And it keeps your brushes conditioned too, so that they don't get all stiff and wonky. Wonky. All right. And then with that one, and it's harder to tell when it's white paint, but this is my go-to white paint brush, so it's fine if it's not completely clean, as long as there's no like vibrant color coming off of it, then it's fine. And then I just close the jar back up, and I can use this oil for about a month if I really wanted to, but the good thing about vegetable oil is that I can get a bottle for two or three bucks, so it's pretty cheap, and it's eco-friendly. Yay! Alright, so now I'm gonna go lay down because my skin hurts, but I shall continue filming the video tomorrow. You won't even be able to tell. Watch. Boom! And just like that is the next day. Uh, yeah. So the plan was to keep working on the painting some and like try to figure out how to, uh, you know, do a YouTube again, but um, little bump in the road, uh, my kneecap is out of place, so you know, ow. So I've been in bed all day, but something cool did happen. I got, ow, ow, ow. I got some microns in the mail. I love these because they are, what was I just saying? Oh, yes. I love these because they are waterproof and like smudge proof after, you know, you let them dry and everything. And they're, they're like my favorite pins to use. And so I get to draw some and I have a cat. So yeah. Not a very exciting uh, video, but I can, you know, take requests in the comments for, can you not push my kneecap? Thank you, big boy. Um, take requests in the comments for things to talk about or things to do. Um, since the last time I was on here, my symptoms have been getting worse, which is why I've been kind of sticking to TikTok because it's just like one minute videos. But I'll do my best. 
I will do my best to try to make this interesting for you guys. <laughs> I just have no idea what I'm doing today because I'm in a big owl. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna go on ahead and go and uh, probably play some Minecraft on my phone and try not to think about uh, chopping my leg off. Love you guys! Bye bye! Bye bye!